how are you? Welcome back. Well, as most people realize, it's springtime here in Iowa. Got a lot of chores to do around the homestead today and over the next course of the next few months. But for today's video, I'm going to get my super duper powerful pulling wood shark chainsaw ready to go. I've got a small tree branch that I want to cut up and clear it up. I cut it down last night using the saw and I haven't run this saw for two or three years and it was running kind of poorly so I need to tune it up. It's about out of gas. I'm going to mix up some new fuel for it. I think it's probably running on old, three, four year old fuel which is probably the biggest problem why it's not running very good. And it's uh, you know, it's a cheap old Walmart chainsaw. I bought it for a hundred bucks probably five years ago. We used to use it on our property for just cutting firewood and stuff. I don't know what size it is. It's probably a 14 inch or something like that. It used to say on the on the uh, on the bar, but it no longer shows. Anyhow, I'm gonna clean it up, sharpen the blade. Mix up some oil, fill up the bar oil, and uh, go outside and cut up a little bit of wood. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. As you can probably tell I'm no chainsaw expert you can probably tell that especially you guys that know about chainsaws by the chainsaw that I own <laughs> I need to consult Jesse James homestead YouTube channel well Jesse lives up there in Michigan he and his wife they have a good homestead channel and the guy is a chainsaw guru he knows more about chainsaws than I ever will but uh, if you get a chance, go check out his channel. It's a fantastic channel that I like to watch. Nice homesteading channel. And uh, if I don't forget, I'll leave a link in the description below for his, for his channel. He didn't ask me to do this or anything, but he's got a decent enough channel that uh, he, he, deserves a, he deserves a plug as far as I'm concerned. Plus, I enjoy his channel and and he and his wife's homestead projects so I'm just doing all this stuff old school way you know a rag and a screwdriver and <clears throat> cleaning off all the stuff again I, I don't know what I'm doing I figure the cleaner it is the better it is and uh, this is the original chain that was on it when I bought it and I just have a I don't know where it is just a little chainsaw six inch hand file that I used to sharpen it with and it I mean I don't know what I'm doing so it seems to work I've noticed uh, a difference after I go through and sharpen sharpen it at least what I think I'm doing is sharpening it uh, but let me get this thing put back together if I can hopefully remember how all these how all these parts go and then I'm gonna sit here and sharpen the blade you guys might enjoy watching that. I'll put it in fast forward. What's next? The bar. Uh, but chainsaws, you know, heck, I don't know. I use this thing once every five years. <laughs> A little chainsaw like this, at least I found, you know, it was a hundred bucks, brand new at Walmart. I figured it probably wouldn't even run but it did and it runs fair uh, as far as I can tell 
it's enough to cut firewood in your backyard or cut down a little shrub or something like that. That's what I use it for. It seems to work okay. I'm missing something. Oh, I'm missing the plastic. See, I told you I don't know what I'm doing. Let me put the plastic cover on it. Obviously, it needs some more, some kind of a spacer there. This thing. back that chain off a little bit I know it goes in this little hole right here or I think it does anyway that ought to fit a little better there we go it looks better I suppose it's not about the looks but It looks good to me. Oh, put the chain on. Wow. Okay, let's put the chain on. I just don't want people commenting on this video asking for chainsaw advice. <laughs> because I don't have any. I know just enough to be able to actually use it maybe. And maybe not. All right, let's see. How's this thing go on there? It's got a little picture here to show me. And thank goodness for the pictures. That looks right. So let's put that on here. Probably totally backwards of how you're supposed to put a chain on. Apologize for all the lawnmower noise in the background if you guys can hear it. It's springtime here in Iowa. It's springtime and. Oh, that must be my wife. Yeah, sounds like it. Springtime and all summer long in Iowa. That's definitely a daily, a daily sound you gotta get used to. pretty good job I didn't cut off any toes or fingers yes I know I should be wearing full safety gear I don't have safety gear that's not a good excuse but that's what I'm doing and uh, we'll let that dry out and burn it in this fire pit for evening fires but uh, let those dry out I'll put them in my little wood pile over there we'll burn those in the evening fires too 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.